Hey, sports fans, Mike Ozer here, owner of Moe'sTackleShop.com. Uh, today we're going to talk about drop shot clips and how to rig them up and the advantages of using a clip over anything else. Here is the drop shot clip right here. It's just a little teeny tiny, almost like a coast lock or a swivel. And all it does is it just has a clip at the bottom of it. And all you do is just slide that hook on and twist it up on the, onto the shaft. So I'm using a stainless steel saltwater hook from Eagle Claw. This is a size one aught, and the hook number from Eagle Claw is 254A is an apple. So that's Eagle Claw 254A, and this is a size one aught. It is a stainless steel. You can pretty much use any kind of hook you want. I've got another one rigged up right here. That's just on a on an old bait hook from Eagle Claw and that number is 186 A is an apple and this is a 2 aught. so really it's any style of hook that you like that'll fit on a small little 3 inch this is just a 3 inch fluke so any hook that's small enough you can you can slide on a little 3 inch hook is, is what you want to use so let's see how we're going to get this uh, hook onto the split ring so basically you if you want your you want your hook to ride point up and this is the bottom this is the bottom that goes this part ties into your leader that's going to go to your deadhead jig head and dead assassin fluke and this closed end up here that's going to tie into your so that's going to tie into your line that goes to your reel so if you want your hook to ride point up when you start rigging it it's point down and then you just slide I just slid that over the hole and you'll kind of hear it snap and it'll, it'll loop back up then it's just simply a turn and now that hook is sitting on the shaft of that in between the two loops and you can see that just that lets you that lets your hook just spin so what you're going to do is you're going to eliminate line twists so if you've been using jig heads that have a drop down tie-in on them or you've been just tying a fly above a above a fluke and a jig head or a slab this thing is very versatile you can use many different size of hooks if you want to put a big bait on use a bigger hook if you want to use a little teeny tiny crappie grub put a smaller hook on so there it is rigged up and ready to go now let's see how we're going to put the fluke on okay guys we've got the hook on to the clip and now we want to take this little teeny tiny fluke and get it rigged up on here so it's not going to slide off so just like I'd rig a regular fluke on a jig head I'm going to measure it so that's where the hook needs to come out unstuck there so I'm just gonna make a cheat sheet and measure it I'm gonna mark it so I made my mark just gonna tear the plastic a little bit right there so now you know where the hook needs to come out and then what you're gonna do is just thread this fluke on Try to keep it in the middle. And then when I get to my tear, I'm 
just going to slide it down. So there it is, it's rigged on a stainless hook, it's on this drop shot clip. Now we just got to do one more thing to it. I'm just going to pull this plastic back. And I'm going to get my super glue. And then I'm just going to, I'd probably use a brush on applicator. I'm just going to drop a little bit right on this hook. slide it on and you're done now what I like to do is make up oh I don't know about a dozen of these things and keep them on your boat and uh, make sure you put the hook on the clip first and then the soft plastic otherwise you're going to tear up your soft plastic trying to spin that hook on but that's really it it's not that complicated it's not rocket surgery get out on your area lakes Get some deadhead jig heads, dead assassin flukes, drop shot clips. Get you some small flukes and double down this winter. We'll see you on the water, sports fans.